how else would you start a video if you don't know what to do with your hands? Hi, I'm Jennifer. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm glad you came and I hope you stick around. If you are a returning viewer or a returning subscriber, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Today is Friday and I'm just going to call this Foundation Friday. Lots of people do that. I'm not being terribly original, but I've never really done any foundation testing, so I thought it might be fun. If you are experiencing deja vu, yes, this is the same eye look that you saw on Why Not Wednesday. Same hair, same shirt. I'm filming multiple videos in one day because my house is going to be absolute chaos for the rest of the week. I've got to get it all knocked out today. Today we are testing the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Foundation. I've seen several views on this. It seemed like something that might sit well in my mature skin. If you would like to see how it wears on me, stick around. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is the one for minimizing pores today. I'm only using it sparingly in places where I do have enlarged pores. For foundation today, we're going to try the CoverGirl Simply Ageless 3-in-1. There we go. I've heard some interesting things about this, some good, some bad, but mostly good. Since it says ageless and I have lots of age on me, maybe this is a good one to try. Let's just stop babbling and do it. Um, I have the color Creamy Natural. Alright, if you are sensitive to smell, you may not like this one. It is a perfumey smell. I like it. I like that smell, but um, I know some people don't care for scents in their makeup, so if you're one of those people, you might want to stay away from this. We'll start out using this, bl this brush and see how it blends with that. If you are wondering about this wackadoodle crazy eyeshadow I've got going on that's not completely finished, um, it is from Why Not Wednesday, whereas if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know I do things on Wednesday that are weird and crazy or odd or just different than I would normally do. seems to be blending nicely. Not a lot of coverage. I have a leftover part of a pimple. I guess a healing pimple that I got last week. What the heck. Menopause and pimples. Does that, does that seem to go together? Because not really to me. Okay. Let me grab the magnifying mirror and kind of tell you what I'm seeing. Okay. not great coverage. It's, it's a light, maybe medium coverage. Um, I can still see my pores. That's not unusual. I have not yet really found a foundation that really, really gets rid of my very large pores here. Um, it is so far not really sinking into the wrinkles on my forehead. The very strong perfuse, per pee -pee perfume smell <laughs> is starting to dissipate. I can still smell it a little, but not a lot. You know what, I never build up foundation because I don't like a lot, but let's just see if we can. Just a little here on my cheeks. I apologize if you can hear the dog in the background. He's locked in the bedroom with me because I've got some painting going on outside and I just don't want him to be in the way. Okay, check the handy dandy magnify. Hmm. Alright, it did blend nicely. It's a pretty finish. Um, it's 
probably not the prettiest foundation I've ever seen, but it's hard to tell anything really until you wear it for a while. Let's go in with a very light dusting of powder. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I used to never ever use powder lately. I have been using it more than I used to. I don't know why. I just am. Real Techniques Powder Brush. Just a light, light. <laughs> powder is going everywhere. I just want a very, 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 very light dusting of powder only so that my blush and bronzer will go on evenly and not smeary. Let's take this hair down before it makes permanent dents. I am getting my roots done this week. <clears throat> By the time you actually see this video, it will already have been done. but. Ooh, Nelly, that's my whole face done. Let's see what time it is. 1.03 p.m. I will try very hard to come back. I haven't done any of these yet, but I will try very hard to come back and get some shots of this foundation up close in natural light and give you some check-ins. There's no way I can do a 12-hour check because that would be 1 o'clock in the morning. Although chances are decent that I might be up at 1 o'clock in the morning, I won't have any kind of light left. So I will keep checking in until I lose all the light and let you know what I think. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back. Okay, it is 2 o'clock. Uh, I don't know why I'm turning my head like this. <laughs> I had to change shirts. I'm about to eat some lasagna, and I know for a fact I will get tomato sauce on that new linen shirt, so had to change. This is where we are with the foundation. Uh, so far, so good. Let me bring you in, let you see kind of around where I have some lines, see how it's wearing. It's only been about an hour, so probably not a very good amount of time yet, but so far I like it. And this is natural light, like I said, two o'clock in the afternoon. Be right back. It's a little breezy out here right now. It is 5.45 p.m. I thought I would just kind of check in, see how this makeup is wearing. Um, I do have to say, gosh, it's amazing. Um, I've been editing videos for about three hours, and I think I have been touching my foundation a lot, leaning on my hand like that. So, um, yeah, I have not looked in a mirror since I put this makeup on, so I don't know, but we'll see. Jen out. Okay, it is 8.30. This is kind of the best light I can find in the house right now. And I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. Um, to be fair, I had my hands on my face all day long while I was editing videos. So it did not wear well here, which is where I touch my face a lot. But here, it's it's splotchy. It didn't wear well there, well, wear well there at all. And I noticed here next to my eye, and I don't know if you can see, um, it's just, it, it, it just, it got blotchy and splotchy and I just messed my hair up. Um, yeah, that being said, from a distance, it still looks pretty. Um, it's not huge coverage, but it still looks pretty, just not as pretty as it did earlier. I am going to wear it with a different primer and not touch my face like I did today and see how I like it then. But that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.